huge year where they are learning so many um, phonics patterns, sight words. We call it the year of growth because you see from the moment they walk into the door to the moment they leave, there is so much that they learn and grow with. Um, so phonics is an extremely important part of our day because they have to learn to read and write. This is the year of reading and writing. Um, it's almost that switch of where we're not just learning to read anymore, but we're starting to learn from reading. Um, so it's super important to get all those skills in and make sure that they have mastered them by the end of the year. Um, a teammate and uh, myself sat down and created a routine, um, a Monday through Friday routine, where we hit all the important parts of first grade, sight words um, or high frequency words, um, phonics, patterns, and fluency. And we developed a day-by-day -day plan to make sure that we're hitting all of those in that 15-minute block that we are given to do it in. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Miss Nancy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Great. Awesome. I want you to turn and tell your partner one of the phonics rules that we've learned this year and see if you can explain that phonics rule. Are you ready? Turn. Go. <laughs> I heard lots of awesome things. I heard friends talking about short vowels. I heard friends talking about blends that we hear at the beginning of words, blends that we hear at the end of words, and I even heard some friends talking about tricky, icky, why. Sounds like your eye at the end of the word. Absolutely. All right. So awesome job thinking back and remembering things we've learned. Because remember, we need to remember all those things when we're reading and writing every single day. Today we're gonna talk about long A. And this isn't just any long A, it's a long A that ends with a silent E, which means you don't hear it. And we're gonna watch a quick video that shows us about that. Each day we do different skills. Um, Monday we start with a video that introduces our phonics for the week. Um, this week was the long A with a silent E. Um, we watch that video, it kind of engages them. Um, there's some conversation about it, but really it's just to let them know what we're learning about for the week. If you know this song, you can sing along. If not, you can just listen. Pay attention to those letters that have A's for me. Those long A's. brave and tell me a word. Listen, put your hand down. Listen and put your hand down. A word that has a long A sound. Not any of the words you saw, but a long A sound. Tell me one, Sebastian. Cake. Cake. Fantastic. How about one more, Joey? Um, gape. Gape. Absolutely. Those were two great examples to ones that we saw. If you saw a different word than that, just show me with your hand signal. I like the way your eyes were working. Now, we are going to get started with Monday. Um, we talk about a few of the words with a picture sort, and we go through and we sort words based on those phonics. And um, the kids, it's student-centered because the kids are doing it. I always demonstrate a word or two first. At the beginning of the year, I obviously demonstrated a lot more. Um, but now the kids are very well oiled, and they are a machine, and they can go. Um, so it's very student-centered. They're stretching those words. They're deciding and talking about the words and putting them in there um, based on if they follow the pattern. We are going to do a sort. And our sort is going to be um, all about long A. 
Some of these pictures you see up here do not have the long A sound in them. They're trying to trick your brain. But I know that you're going to work hard to not let that happen. So, you're going to pick a picture. If it has a long A sound, boys and girls, the long A says just that. Its name, A. So say that with me. A. So if it has that long A sound, you are going to drag it into the cake. Let's practice the word cake together. Get your arm ready. Stretch out the word cake. Cake. Remember, you're tapping the sound A. We're tapping that long A. Are you ready? K. A, A, A. Cake. DeAndre, do it with us one more time. Practice it with me. Cake. A, A, A. Awesome. So I'm going to pick some friends that are showing me that they're listening and paying attention and being a good classmate to come up and lead us in it. Remember, when your classmate is up here, you're doing it with them. They're just being the teacher for the moment. Capiche? Capiche. All right, here we go. Katie, you've been sitting so nicely the whole time. Come on up, pick a picture. Game. Game. Go ahead and get your arm ready and do it with the class. Game. Katie, what do you think? Does it have the long A? Yes. Slide it on in. Fantastic. Kiss your brain. Let me have Caleb come on up. Late. Which one? Late. Late. I was going with Chase, but it could be late. You, let's do both. It's fine. Let's do late. <coughs> late. Oh, a, A, A. Late. late. Awesome. What do you think? Uh, it says its name. Why does it say its name, do you think? What do you think is at the end of that word to make it say its name? E. There's a silent E. Good job. Drag it on in. All right. Let me see. Peter, come on up. Bat. Bat. Turn and face your class. Here we go. Does it say its name or its sound? It's the name. It says its name. It says A. Try it again. Say bat. Bat. Ready? B. Is that its sound when we say tap or is it its name? Sound. Sound. So do we drag it in the cake? No, sir. Good job. Boys and girls, why didn't we drag any of the pictures left on the screen with a quiet hand? Why didn't we grab any of the pictures and put them in the cake left on the screen? Why? Why, Bella? Because it's a short A. It's a short A, and what does that short A say? A. And what words were we dragging into the cake? Long A. Which says what? A. Awesome job, boys and girls. Kiss those brains. Turn and give your partner a fist bump. Great thinking. After we do the phonics for the day, we move on to introducing two sight words. Um, and I do two sight words because it's not too much, but it's also not just one because there are a lot of words they have to learn. And I do that using Jan Richardson's What's Missing. Two new sight words we're going to look at today. And those two new sight words, Sebastian, are the sight words what and the sight words was are two new sight words. I want you to watch me write these words. Remember not to say anything as I write them. Are you ready? Eyes on the board. Here we go. I'm writing the word what. Boys and girls, say that word. Why? What? Awesome. Watch me write it again. What? Watch it build. Here we go. What? One more time. Here we go. What? Now close your eyes. DeAndre, close them correctly, please. Open your eyes. Blow in your hand. What letter is missing? Pop it. W. Fantastic. Boys and girls, what is this word? What? Close those eyes. O 
Open your eyes. Blow in your hand. What letter is missing? Pop it. T. T. What is this word? What? All right, last time. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Blow in your hand. What letters are missing? Pop it. AJ. Boys and girls, what is the word? What? Fantastic. I'm going to write another word on this board. Pay attention as I write it. Watch me as I write it so that you can see which letters come first, what comes next, and what comes last. Are you ready? Keep those voices off. Was. What word is this? Was. Alexa, Isa. All right, watch me write it again. Here we go. Was. Watch it build, Caleb. Was. Watch it again. Sammy. No, ma'am. Was. Are you ready? Close your eyes. Open them. Blow in your hand. What is missing? Pop it. S. S. Fantastic job. Was. All right, boys and girls, those are our two new sight words for the week. We are working on long A, words that say A, and we are working on the two sight words what and was. Let's get ready for centers. Stand up. Go sit at your seats. Tuesday. We move on and we start with our high frequency words. We um, chant the high frequency words using um, a list of different chants that we do. And they are practicing the words as they're saying the letters. So they're building that fluency of building the letters in a row. Let's practice our sight words. Are you ready? Stand up. Let's do the robot and let's do it with the word was. What's that word? Hold on, let it focus. What's that word? Was. was. Are you ready? Let's get our arms ready and do the robot. Say the letters. Make sure you're looking. Here we go. W-A-S was. Awesome job. Let's do batter up with it. Here we go. Ready? W. Awesome, and let's do jumping jacks with it. Here we go. Fantastic. Let's move on to the word what. Boys and girls, look at that word, and what is it? What? Let's do the same three. Robot first. Here we go. Look at the letter so you know. W A T Y. Awesome. Batter up. Here we go. W A T Y. And jumping jacks. W A T Y. Fantastic. Breathe in the roses. Blow out the candles. Have a seat. We do a fluency poem. The fluency poem practices that phonics skill for the week. And in particular this week, we had a sight word that was in there as well that was highlighted, which was awesome. Um, I usually do it, for th do it three times each day that we practice this fluency because it really builds them and gives them confidence. Here is our poem. Now, <laughs> we're going to read this poem first, and then we're going to go on a word hunt, and we're going to find the words that have that long A in it. Are you ready? Bodies crisscross applesauce. Hands in your lap. Hands in your lap. Here we go. Listen to me first. Your voices are off. Jake, listen to me first. Your voices are off. Let's zip them now. Zoop. Hands in your lap. Jake the snake. Jake the snake was not quite awake when he made a mistake and curled up on a rake. If you feel comfortable this second read, join in with me. Remember, you don't have to until the third read, but if you, would, if you feel comfortable and you want to read it with me, Layton, you can. Here we go. 
Ready? Third time. Here we go. Jake the snake. Jake the snake was not quite awake when he made a mistake and curled up on a rake. I love the way you're adding gestures to it. Gestures help you remember things. And some of these words are kind of tricky and words we haven't learned yet. But there are some words in here that follow the pattern we're learning, that long A. Before we find those words, who with a quiet hand can tell me, how do I know a word says A? What tells me a word says A? Knock. Where is that silent E at? At the end of a word. Turn and tell your partner that rule, how we know when a word has a long A. Turn. Ready? Remember when your I heard some friends sharing some awesome things, but I want to hear from you. If you had a partner that said something that was super smart, can you raise your hand and let me know? DeAndre, what did your partner say? He said the bossy E makes the A say snake. We don't call him a bossy E. What do we call him with a quiet hand? What do we call him, Peter? Silent E. A silent E makes that A say its name. So, here we go. If you see a word in here that you know that has a silent E and makes that A say its name, please go ahead and raise your hand. Let me see. Katie. Snake. Snake. Let's stretch that word. Snake. 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 Oh, let me see. Hayden, I love the way you stretch that word with me, so you tell me another one. Rake. Let's go ahead and stretch that word. Rake. 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 Awesome. What's another one? Jalisa, what's another one? Jake. Jake, fantastic. Let's go ahead and stretch it. Jake. Jake. DeAndre, stretch it. Jake. Jake. A, 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 A. Jake. Jake, fantastic. It looks like we have two more in there. Two more. Uh, Peyton, tell me one. Mistake. Mistake. Let's go. That's a long one. Here we go. Mistake. Mistake. That's a long one. Let's do that again. You ready? Mistake. 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 That's a tricky one. And one more. Let me see. Um, Sophie. Awake. Awake. Fantastic. Let's do awake. Here we go. Awake. Are you awake? Let's yeah. do it. Come on. Awake. 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 Awesome. I know many of your hands are up right now. Why do you think that I'm not going to ask you to call on these words? Why do you think, Peter? Because you read it easier than you read. We already did them, but they are two words that you will highlight. Today, boys and girls, when you go back to your seats, you're going to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words that have the long A. Is there another one? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. With a quiet hand, who can tell me? Kayla? Made. Made. Let's stretch it. Made. Boys and girls, I have some warm and fuzzies for you because you caught your teacher's mistake. Awesome job. It's getting close to the top. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we do have the word made. So not seven, but eight, eight words that you're going to find. I'm going to pass out your poem today. You have a version of your poem. 
in your next clean or on your next clean page of your fluency book, you are going to add in Jake the snake. And you are going to make sure you put your date at the top and then find eight words with your partner and a highlighter. Remember as you're finding these words, what do you need to be doing? Who can tell me with a quiet hand? Do we just highlight the word? No. no. What is a quiet hand? What do we do, Bella? Stretch it on your arm. Stretch it on your arm and have a what? Have a what? You need help? And have a what? A what, Joey? A conversation about it. A conversation about it, because remember, we don't want to highlight it until we know for sure. We end our Tuesday with a phonics word hunt within that poem. Um, we do it whole group, students are helping me, I'm highlighting, and then they're sent off to have those conversations with their peers at their, um, in a spot in their own phonics journal with their copy of their poem. Are you ready? When I give you your poem, you and your turn and talk partners today are going to work together. Okay? Here we go. Grab it and go. Chase, I'll talk to you in a second. Grab it and go. Grab and go. Grab and go. Grab and go. Once you have it, back to your seats, glue it and go. The timer is on. Macaroni and cheese. And we love the cheese. I have lots of friends having conversations. Do we have conversations while we glue? No. no, the timer is ticking. You don't have much time. Stay focused. Get it glued. Date on. Find your partner and a quiet spot. Alligator, alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. is happening within your partnerships. We don't just highlight. Go ahead. Joey pointed out that in our poem, there is a sight word that we're working on this week. What an awesome all-around reader she's being. Not only is she looking for spelling patterns, but she found the sight word was. If you see that word when you get back to your seat with your pencil, will you circle that sight word was for me? Awesome job, Joey. Kiss that brain. What did I say? Sir. One minute left, so stay focused. Um, you do it with a pencil, not oh. Okay, that's okay. Just remind her of the directions next time. Go raise your hand. Sometimes in my mind, to sing the poem I sang, I said Jake the cake. Oh my goodness, silly. But cake is another word that does have that long A, right? Yeah.